how are we doing? Sorry, just adjusting my phone. Now it's shaking. There we go. Um, my little light's charging, so don't mind the glare from the window. I just really wanted to jump on real quick and show you how to make homemade salsa with our manual food processor. Now, in a couple weeks, I'll be doing this fresh from the garden, but um, we're going to have some people over tomorrow, so I was going to prep it up. Now, the manual food processor does come with its own lid, but I usually save it in our sale phone bottles, um, just because it's easier. There's a lot of different tools you can use to make salsa. So, um, this is our utility knife. I also have the new paring knife, which I got for the jalapeno. Well, I got it because I wanted it, but I got it out to use the jalapeno. So, I'm just cutting, kind of like almost peeling back an apple. And see little tricks to keep your seeds from going everywhere um I do the peppers first in the manual food processor um just because they're a little thicker a little harder to chop up um, tomatoes get smushy very fast so I like to prep the salsa the day before um, because that really gives the jalapenos a chance to, I don't know what you're so it gives the jalapenos a good chance to really, um, mix in with everything. And I do have, uh, cilantro in my herb garden that I will go get fresh to add to the finishing touches. Um, a little scraper, a little scraper, I just washed it. I don't, you could put everything in here and do it all up in one big swoop to make life easier. I usually don't because we make a lot of salsa and the manual food processor isn't that big. So again, just peeling away the, to the pepper so that way I'll get a little like Christmas tree effect didn't have as hearty of a stem there um and it really cuts down how many seeds like sometimes I'll get a couple little ones I could use a little scooper to get them out makes it easier to use that and super easy to clean so again I'm just gonna make them into slips And put them in the manual food processor. So that's really one. Definitely taking advantage of the fact that my eight-year-old is at a friend's house. <laughs> I have a very, very busy week. And for those of you who are new to my page, we are doing a freezer barbecue prep meal theme for, well, it's been about a month or so now. But I love it. It makes life so much easier. Um, with lacrosse and any of your like, activities, like we just had band concerts two weeks in a row, um, Kelly has lacrosse like six days a week, so um, it just makes life easier having the freezer prep um, done and do it on the weekend when I have time. I'll make a couple of videos because I have quite a few parties this week, so I'm going to do some videos for that. And get prepared, like I said, taking advantage of not having an eight year old running around my house. Um, so, for the jalapenos, I'm going to use the paring knife. Now, remember, the hottest part about the jalapenos are the seeds. So, if you want a milder sauce, I would take your little scoop and just scoop it. I'm going to do it right over the trash, though. Like I said, and be careful. Do not rub your eyes after doing this. It will burn. I'm only gonna do a couple. 
couple because my parents will be over and my mom doesn't really like it hot hot. Jeff does, but he can always add jalapenos to his. Again with the little paring knife. All I did was cut along the edges and that really scooped right out. I really like this little paring knife. And it's made with the same German steel um, that our big paring knives are made with. So, and it's the same, same, it doesn't matter which one you get. They're all like the same. So you go all the way through the handle. And see, I can do it as small or as big as I want and that's why I love doing it with the manual food processor. It's so much better than using my Ninja or um, my uh, Quick Slice. If you want a thicker salsa, like a more of a cute shaped salsa, if you haven't noticed anything, I always drop something in one of these videos. <coughs> so it's bound to happen. Um, if I don't like onions, so I don't put onions in ours. But you can definitely easily put onions in here. Remember the trick with the onions, if you don't want to cry, um, don't cut the root off. Because that's what makes it, well, the word they use is bleed. And that's when it bleeds is when you uh, cry. So if you don't want to cry, don't cut the roots off your onion. Like I said, you can easily throw an onion in here too. But I don't want to... So I'm just going to mix this up, I'll chop it up, then mix it up, then we'll put the lid in, and I'll let it sit till tomorrow, and we will have perfect, perfect homemade salsa. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.